Welcome back to Anderson Acres. It is time to talk about another chicken breed today. And today we are going to talk about a breed that everyone's seen. It's kind of what people think of when they hear the word chicken. We're going to talk about the leghorn. Now, the leghorn is an incredibly common breed of chicken these days. It is not endangered. It has no conservation status. It is of least concern. It is everywhere. So originally the leghorn was from Italy. It is a Mediterranean breed and it was brought to the U.S. around 1830, but it didn't make its way to the U.K. until 1869 or thereabouts. And that's because the leghorn was brought to the U.S., it was refined and perfected and then re-exported, okay? They are the main egg chicken in North America. North Americans really enjoy a nice big white egg, and that's what these leghorns lay. So they are the most common egg chicken, egg layer, in North America. Um, unfortunately, most of the leghorns in the U.S. live in small battery cages. Battery cages are horrific, but they are becoming more and more common in backyard flocks, and more and more people are rescuing these birds from battery cage situations. So you might have a rescue in your area that does leghorn rescues. They do uh, the battery hen rescue. And that's definitely something to look into because it can be really satisfying taking those battery hens, rehabbing them, and then you have wonderful chickens laying you eggs every day. So today, the U.S. and the U.K. do not have the same kind of leghorn. Okay, they are different. If you look at U.S. leghorns, they have bigger combs, they have bigger lobes, they have tighter tails, they're a bigger bird. They also lay fewer eggs. They only lay about 180 to 250 eggs, which is still a lot of eggs. However, the U.S. leghorn is a better layer. Okay, it's a thinner, not unhealthy, leghorns in the U.S. are just naturally thinner. They've bred, they're bred to lay eggs in the U.S., so... They are a slighter breed, a smaller breed, but they lay like 300 plus eggs in the U.S. So in the U.S., they lay a lot of eggs. There's no good or bad, not the U.S. version is better than the U.K. or anything like that. They're just a totally different bird, even though they do share the same name. They're not the same bird anymore, even though they come from the same um, origins. They are, like I said, strictly a laying breed. They do tend to be a little bit too slight, a little bit too slender to use as meat birds. I mean, I guess you could, but it's not what they're built for. And they lay these beautiful white eggs that everyone really likes. Now, everyone's familiar with the white leghorn. We all see white leghorns and we think of white leghorns. However, those are not the only colors. You can get blacks and blue and brown, buff. I've seen cuckoo, gold duckwing, silver duckwing, exchequer, black modeled, red modeled. I've even seen a few partridge leghorns. So there's a lot of different colors available. If you're interested in showing your leghorns, just double check with the association governing showing in your area to make sure the color you're interested in is acceptable because some of the colors are considered project colors and therefore they are not accepted in shows yet. So just double check that if you're interested in showing. Otherwise, there's a lot of colors. You can find something you like. If you don't like the white leghorn, you can go with a different color and still get the wonderful laying capacity of a leghorn. Now, they're a flighty breed. Okay, they don't really love people that much. They weren't bred for that, so they're not a silky. Um, they don't tend to go broody. They lay really early, so by four months, they're typically laying four to five months. They handle both the heat and the cold really, really well, so they're a really hardy breed. They're really lightweight, and they can fly. So they're really good at being kept cooped up, but they're also really good at free-ranging. Just remember that they can fly. So if you're worried about them flying away, you might want to make sure that you clip their wings or put a top on your run. But I find they come back pretty well. They coop really well. They understand where home is. So generally, even if they're flitting about the trees, they do come back home. So I don't worry about that too much. But depending on your situation, you might. So you might want to clip their wings. So like I said, they can often be rescued. There are, at least in our area, quite a few 
uh, battery hen rescues that happen throughout the year. So find out if that's available in your area if you're interested in these birds because you might be able to rescue some and they still lay for many years after you rescue them and they look fantastic. They'll look terrible when you rescue them. Fair warning. They'll look horrible. However, they will lay eggs and they will look better after about two to three months of good food and healthy living and access to the outdoors. So don't be turned off by the way they look at the rescue because they'll look terrible. They will be missing feathers and all that. Remember that it's okay if they're missing some feathers. They will grow those back as they heal from being stuffed in battery cages, five, six birds to a cage. Not fun for them. So if you can rescue them, do so. They do deserve a wonderful home and leghorns are one of my favorite breeds. That is about it for us here today at Anderson Acres. I do hope you will consider rescuing some leghorns in the future. We'll see you tomorrow.